It's your boy Yanni Boy Elon here, man, with the Adobe Premiere Pro software navigation. I'll show y'all how to get into these softwares. So after you open up your software, I double click on the side, open up Premiere Pro. Um, I want to get my workspace and everything set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to grab some stock footage. Um, well, I actually got real footage, but if you don't have real footage, you can always use some stock footage. So um, I'm just going to find me a really good shot that I like or something. Um, for example, let's go ahead and cut this in. So now that I drug it over here to my workstation area, my project pool is what I like to call it. I'll double click on there and you'll see it pop up. So um, now I still can't uh, adjust in sequence settings because you need to get it over, drag it over. Now it understands what to do with that clip. So you click on sequence settings. I got mine set at custom. Um, this shot was shot at 60 frames per second so you see 59.94 frame code um i want to change that down to 24 i want it to have that real natural tv frame rate and motion blur whenever everything is played back so everything else is pretty much set up for you um your workspace and everything like that you can i mean mess around with some of this stuff if you want to but for the most part you really do not need to Let's go ahead and jump over into the color coordinate layout. Uh, I'll use this one from the store. Um, I'll use this one from the cut. Okay, so now that we got these over here on our software, now the best way to put this is if you want to keep up with everything that's going on, um, because they can get pretty chaotic, then you want to color code these shots. So this shot, double click, open it up automatically know what that's gonna be. That shot's orange in the background, so I wanna label it with something that's a little more relative to it, so that way I know exactly how to find that shot. So whenever you get this clip in there, you're gonna see that that clip is orange. And then this clip right here, it's a red card in the background, but he also pouring the purple. And this was an exclusive shot. I set my in and out point to set my marker like that. But first I'm gonna go down here and I am going to label this purple. So then when I drag it in, it's purple. So now whenever I wanna splice through these clips and move everything around, I have color coordinated clips to make sure that I get them. Okay man, we back. So right here where we got all of these clips, just whatever, we're gonna be creating a new adjustment layer. So if you click down here on this little piece of paper that's folded backwards, it's gonna say new item. Just scroll up right there and say adjustment layer. The width and the height should be based set off of your properties of your clip. Click that, double click this. I set the I key, let it play a little bit. O key to set my out point and then I bring that down. Now this is an adjustment layer which we're gonna be using to add effects to multiple different layers. Um, so we wanna make sure that we get that stretched across the top of all the clips. Now if I came over here to the side panel right here, if you don't see your Lumetri color, you can go to the top and go to Windows and use this drop down. And then you got Lumetri scopes and Lumetri color. You can just Hit that, make sure that the check mark checked. Come over here to the side, and this allows you to pretty much play with the color science in the shot. As you see, um, actually, let's bring this back over here because it's not going to record both of those at the same time. There you go. Okay, so now you see that we can add faded film, and that's going to go on top of everything. So if you want to give your video that all around feel, you probably want to add an adjustment layer to that. Go in there, kick the contrast up or lower it, whichever one you feel is better. And then you can always independently edit one of these clips by just clicking on it. The Lumetri tab should already pop up. Say so if you wanted to add a little coolness to that shot with that effect that you already got on it. It won't be on this shot, it'll just be right there. And that's that. 